Cool. In this final section, we're basically going to look at different ways that people can use cost categories in. So essentially, we, we are again in the GCP perspective, which is out of the box created by Harness. Uh, so the first way that a cost category can be used is you can slice and dice data by the cost category definition. That's essentially grouping the data by the cost category departments. So now we are slicing and dicing the, and the entire data and like showing the cost breakdown by all of the departments. The second way that you can use cost categories is by adding a filter. So you can say cost category departments in, let's say manufacturing. So you can, you can now, you're just looking at manufacturing's data. Uh, and now you can essentially see the different, the breakdown of the manufacturing department's cost by different products. So now this essentially becomes very powerful because you essentially applied the filter of manufacturing and you can now analyze what, where is manufacturing actually spending their money by, across products, projects, SKUs, uh, regions, and so on and so forth. So again, so you can apply a filter, you can slice and dice data. The third way that you can use a cost category is actually using it to define a perspective. So when defining a perspective, we can add a rule and say, hey, cost category departments in manufacturing. And this will basically become manufacturing perspective, manufacturing department, right? So now the uh, the good thing about this is why why using cost categories is useful is because you can still maintain different perspectives where cost category in manufacturing uh, comes up or shows up, but the definition of the manufacturing's cost bucket is defined in the cost category. So tomorrow, if if a new project gets added to the manufacturing department, if we change the cost category, it's going to basically reflect across all of the perspectives where uh, a, sim a rule similar to this is basically used. So essentially, this is this is how uh, these are the three ways in which cost categories can be used.